Welcome to IT Port. In this session, we are going to see about update logs in SQL Server. Update logs prevent a common form of date lag in a repeatable read or serializable transaction. The transaction reads data and are giving a shared log on the resource and then modifies the data, which requires log conversion to an exclusive log. So assume that if we two transactions achieve shared mode logs and a resource and then attempt to update data concurrently. One transaction attempts a log conversion to an exclusive log. The shared mode to exclusive log conversion must wait because the exclusive log for one transaction is not compatible with a shared mode log of other transactions. Log wait occurs. The second transaction attempts to occur an exclusive log for its update. Because both transactions are converting to an exclusive logs and they are each waiting for the each transaction to release its shared mode log. So this is reason to access a dead lag. To avoid this potential dead lag problem, update logs are used. Only one transaction can update an update log to a resource at a time. If a transaction modifies a resource, the update log is converted to an exclusive log. Let us check with this simplest example. See, this is the student table. A normal fetch statement select start from student where the criteria of student ID is equal to 5. We fetched with this in the repeatable read isolation level. See. So just fetch it. This is active logs. This is a fetch the active logs. What are the logs are raised in this database? So it fetched with a log shared logs within this session. This is session ID and the database name and the object name, log object name and the row ID shared and the page is locked by hierarchy so intent shared so this log shared log is accused in this session so before that the script for this active logs are mentioned in the video description so you can refer this scripts to fetch the active logs so in another session going to update with the same student ID within a read committed isolation level. So just execute this update command and it will wait. So now check with the active logs result says. So this is for the first transaction shared logs mode and this is for the second transaction so it contains update logs and exclusive logs this is for conversion so once the update logs completed it converts it to exclusive logs when it update logs completed based on this shared logs when it is released why exits of shared log it should be like as a update log only so when the shared log exits or completes released its own shared log it will update and convert to the exclusive log just check now roll back the transaction shared log transactions that is first transaction roll back going to get roll back so see now the active logs only for exclusive so the update logs completed update process completed and exclusive it logs for exclusive log so here first the update log occurred then it convert to the exclusive log so now the exclusive log only appeared on the second session. 
so now we can roll back our commit just commit transaction so now from the active logs there is no logs because the update log released and converted to exclusive so that is the data changes may on the second transaction so these are the update logs just fetch with the shared logs and the normal read committed isolation level going to update so the logs acute first transaction shared logs for the first transaction and the update logs for the second transactions when the shared logs closed the update logs executes and release then converts to exclusive log just roll back the first transaction and check with the active logs it's getting directly to the exclusive logs that means the update logs conversion held on there so now we can commit or roll back the transaction so now logs are clear and again the one more method we can use the table hints to raise the update log see in this one transaction read committed transaction isolation level just fetch the student table with update log where the student id is equal to 5 just the it holds the update log see the now fetch with the active logs session id 57 is this transaction this session so it was log type was u two means update logs and intern update for the page the log hierarchy page so just we can roll back the transaction it release a update log from the data so these are the update logs in sql server so this topic will be very useful to you if you like this session please like and subscribe to get more videos thank you friends